Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Fishing 24/7. Um, today I'm going to do a video, and you know, you know, I'm excited. I think you're excited watching uh, what's behind me, right, and the background, right. You see, you see what uh, I'm trying to say. All right, I'm talking about November 4th. Yep. You know what's going on in uh, November 4th, right? It's a crab opening. Uh, uh, season opening all right so today i'm going to talk about um, what you need to have for your uh for your trip all right so uh, uh let's let's do it so this is the hoops that i did uh last year so if you want to know um how to make these hoops if you don't have hoops um i have a video uh i did it with uh, my brother josh last year uh this is just a rebar and then we wrap it with the uh, uh, liner and with the net here. So, all right. So first of all, for the crapping, you need to have the hoops. Okay. Um, I'm not talking too much about the uh, regulation uh, in this video. Uh, I encourage everyone to uh, to read the regulation. All right. Uh, you follow the regulation. So two kind of hoops uh, you can have. Okay. The one that lay flat on the bottom. And the one, this one is, uh, uh, the, I think the type B. All right, so the regulation for this one is the, all right, so uh, let me talk about the re regulation for the hoops, okay? This is the type B uh, hoops, okay? This is type A, the, the, the one that lay, lay flat on the bottom. This is the type B, okay? It consists of two rings, okay? The bottom ring here and the top ring, okay? The bottom ring is no more, no greater than 36, uh, 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 inches in diameter okay the inside diameter okay the top ring is at no less than 15 inches in diameter they have six arms okay connect to the top to the bottom ring okay and the the height of the bottom to the top have to be no more than 10 inches the harness here uh, connect to a little floater right here the buoy so when you drop your your hoops the harness will stay up like this. It's not dropping right here. And then when the crab coming in, you pull your 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 hoops. All the crab got tangled into the harness. Pull them out. All right. So it should be uh, a suspend like this when it drops into the um, into the bottom of the ocean. All right. That's uh, the hoop. And then you have the line. Okay. So the line. I have what I have is the uh, the lead line okay so when you drop into the ocean it sink so the boat don't run over and tangle into your line if it's floating all right so I have my line here you can have uh, a quarter inch you can have a 3a a 5a half inch uh, whatever you prefer okay but for me I prefer either for the hoops it's, it's a quarter inch because the hoop is not very heavy so uh, I can do a quarter inch or uh, 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 three eight. Okay, so you need hoops. You need hoops. You need uh, line, rope, and you need bait holder. Okay, so I use a different kind of bait holder. I use this one right here. I can put bait in here. All right, fish, uh, chicken, whatever. Um, and then I have this kind. I can put it in. All right, chicken, fish, whatever in here. And I have this little thing right here with the with a lid right here i usually put uh, uh, cat food so i put in here so it won't it won't come out all right so that's what i need for the bait okay and then i have uh, the buoy right here usually i put my last name and then my goal my goal id okay my goal id it faded already right here it faded already so i'm putting goal id on here in your fishing license this is a must have okay you need to have uh, the, the crab measurement okay three five and three quarter that's a minimum for the dungeoness sometimes i don't have money to buy the buoy i use my wife a detergent bottle empty detergent bottle i clean it out before i drop in the ocean all right so this is very light okay so in the days that is really strong current it will this one will pick up by the swell and it walk your hoops Okay, what I usually do is I use this net right here. 
and I'm gonna put you see I put weight okay I usually use my salmon uh, uh, sinker okay two and a half pounds so I put a couple of them like five pounds in here so five pounds it will keep my hoops uh, you know stay on the bottom all right uh, what else uh, do I need to talk about let's talk about uh, how you connect your rope into your uh, your hoops okay your hoops have a ring right here um, so if you have the carabiner all right if you have a carabiner right here it will be easy right all you have to do a clip onto okay you clip onto your ring all right and then easy right but sometimes this stainless steel is really really expensive and 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 you know if you don't have a, a budget for it i'm going to show you a couple of things you can do all right the first thing you can do if you don't have the carabiner all right what you can do is you can tie a big loop all right maybe it's about 18 inches okay the loop about 18 inches long like this okay the loop so what you do you just loop into the your grab hoops right here and then you take out your entire rope you put it through all right you put it through and then that's how you connect okay it's safe never come off all right and then when you pull up your hoops you can take it away all you have to do you put your whole roll up a line through the hoop again take it out and you can take it out like this all right that's the second way you do now i'm going to show you the third way usually i do it okay so for example you have a line okay so some people tie it you know wherever you where you tie right it, it might come off right it may come off right so this is the way I tie it won't ever come off and easy to tie and untie okay so the first thing you do is take about maybe 20 inches like this you make a figure a loop all right the figure a loop you see that figure a see that figure a let me do one more time very simple you cross over you turn it one more time and you put your the tag end through this a figure eight okay now what you do i call it a figure eight follow through okay so you put the tag end through the loop right here all right and then you follow this this tag end you follow wherever this line go you go with this line okay so So this this line go through here, you go you follow with it, okay? And this line go all the way like right here, you follow. Wherever that line go, you follow, you go, and then you go through here, okay? They call it the figure eight follow through. You tied it. That's all you need. It won't come out, okay? It will not come out. I guarantee you. I've done it so many times. Never lost it okay so when you pull it up you want to untie this tag end right here you can take it out you go back you go backward you go back you see it so so the idea you take the tag tag end you follow with this line right here you follow wherever this line go you go with it okay so if you don't know how to tie this this one need some practice okay you don't know how and then you do this way all right you do this way you tie a big loop okay the big loop you go through take your entire rope and then you have a loop all right Okay, um, what, what else do I need to talk? Uh, let's see, how about, maybe some of you guys have question about 
uh, where do I drop my hoops? There's a crabs, right? Where do you find your crabs? Um, well, uh, <laughs> it's a it's a tricky question, all right? Because sometimes I could not even find it. All right, it's from your experience. You know, you learn. You have location. You have location that the previous year. You say you go back to your your mocking on the previous year that you did good. Hopefully, the crabs will follow the same line that they they migrate every year. All right, so you have that, or you could just go out there, use your gut, and you drop in the sand, sandy area. You drop in the rock near the rock area. It might tangle uh, your hoops with the rock with the reef uh, uh you you if you drop near the the reef uh, you will catch a lot of uh, rock crabs instead of dungeon nests um so you know uh, location is very important so what i usually do for example i have uh, uh, 10 hoops all right so when i get out there to the location i think that uh uh, I, I think that there's a crabs there, but I don't know exactly location. What I do is I use they call five and five. Okay, so I'm going to drop five hoops. I'm going to stretch it out like long, like every one hoop, and then the next hoop will be maybe seventy to a hundred yards. It's five hoops. I drop five football long, five hoops every football field, like a hundred yards. I drop one hoops, and then for example, I drop north and south right and the second five hoops i will do cross is uh, uh, from east to west all right i drop the four it's i call it a test run okay so i will do test run uh two uh um uh, two direction okay north south and east west and then uh, i drop it and then i wait for maybe 30 minutes an hour and then i all i'm going to pull all up and i will uh, take note which uh, direction have more crabs? Well, for example, uh, it's a, a northeast direction have more crabs, and then I'm going to pull up all the one that on the uh, east-west uh, uh, direction. I'm going to pull it up, and I'm going to drop the same direction wherever the hoops that uh, 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 have a lot of uh, crabs, and I pull all of that and I put it in that location. All right, that's how, that's how I do it. But remember, guys, you know, go out there, enjoy, have fun. You know, don't stress out too much. I'm telling you, man. You you go fishing, you go crapping to have to to have fun, and then you go out there. You couldn't catch crab, and you stress out. You didn't have a good day. You know what? Yeah, why don't you just stay home, go to a ranch night night, and go spend your money, buy your crabs. It's very very a sure catch, right? You never miss that. You can you can buy ten crabs. Okay, you spend maybe uh, 150, 200 bucks. Okay, you don't have to wake up early. You don't have to go through all the hard work, and you can do crap that way, right? I'm I'm all go for it, but for me, you know, I'm blessed just being on the water. I enjoy my day with my friends, the the, the people that I enjoy, that count, okay? The crabs, the fish, whatever. That's a cherry on top for me, all right? I'm just going out there and have fun, enjoy. I don't go uh, crapping or fishing to get more stress. I'd rather stay home. All right, so uh, one more thing before I go. Uh, how do I keep my crab alive and, and healthy? Because crabs, when they get stressed out, all right, when they, uh, you, you, you uh, drown them, that means you put it in the bucket of water without the oxygen, they're going to die. And before they die, they release a toxin that will, will destroy the meat. So it won't be good anymore. It will be, uh, 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 you know, uh, soft and bad, all right? So you have to keep your crabs alive. You don't put it in a bucket of water, it will die. You rather put put in a cooler, uh, you know, with, with ice on the bottom and then you put it on the cooler and then they will they will uh, use their own uh, bubble, all right? They use their own bubble to create oxygen and then they can survive for a few hours like that, okay? But if you put it in the bucket, uh, a cooler and then you pour ocean water in there eventually they run out of oxygen and they die they suffocate they drown okay but this is how i will keep my crabs always healthy and always happy as my uh my uh my bait tank all right so my bait tank here all right so i have my bait tank running like a bait tank regular bait tank i let it run in and this blue uh um 
big tank here can keep like uh, at least 40 crabs okay 40 crabs in here all right so um, yeah that's how I keep my crabs and when I get home and then I will uh, process and everything will be good um, one more thing that I usually do okay if I have uh, nothing to keep my crabs uh, alive and healthy what I do uh, as soon as I get on, at, uh, back on the uh, land what I usually do and I kill all my crabs right away okay I kill them when you kill them they die and they don't release the toxins that kill their meat all right so I stab them I kill them I put in the cooler I put ice on there and then it will be good for a couple of days okay that's from my experience all right so I'm excited I know you excited because they close everything this year the salmon the uh, uh, some of the raw fish you know in shallow water they close so many so many things uh, all right so I know all of you feel stressed feel sad feel you know you go you you fight for it and all of that and 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 I and I understand all of that all right but now crapping you know uh, we all excited we can go out there uh, enjoy have some crabs, especially Thanksgiving coming up. So we have some crabs for the family. All right, so I just want to do a, a video, talk a little bit about this. Maybe some of you already know, but uh, I really appreciate that you always support me, uh, follow me on my journey doing the YouTube for many years. Um, the reason I do it because my passion, I want to share uh, some of my passion uh, to all of you. All right, that's all, that's all I do in, 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 in life, it's just sharing sharing my knowledge uh, may not uh, good for you uh, may good for someone uh, i'm all good for that uh, i will love your comments okay leave me your comments um, and i will read it all right and uh, thank you so much as always remember you guys stay safe stay healthy remember go fishing go do whatever you love enjoy doing in life and remember do it today because you might not have time for tomorrow um, and one more thing and appreciate every little thing people do for you. It will make you happy. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. By the way, if you see me on the water, see me at the launch, see me anywhere, at the tackle shop, anywhere, just come and say hello to me. I love to see all of you. I know a lot of you by name, but I don't know the name. I cannot put the name in the face. So if I see you out there and don't say, I don't say hello to you, it doesn't mean that I ignore you because I just don't know you. I will want to get to know you, have a little chat, all right? Um, that's all about life, okay? I just, I just appreciate all the friends that I have met and the friends that I haven't met. I hope someday I meet you. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Smile.